Each channel is a full-featured, intuitive, and simple channel strip that's got a couple of interesting tricks up its sleeve. I have this here on a pad sound, and here's what it sounds like. It's kind of washy. I'm going to use the side chain and gate function to chop it to the rhythm of the topper in the drums. So let me solo the tune. I'm going to start by having it listen to this drum topper, and I'm going to call up a preset that I have, and we'll look at what's going on. So to start with, I have the gate set, and the threshold will determine how and when it's going to start chopping. And the release time can make it sharper or more legato. Now I'm going to bring in the compressor. And here I'm catching the peaks and giving it a nice kind of sharper attack to each note that's triggered. You can use a softer knee or a harder knee. Here it's compressing a bit more aggressively versus a more gradual compression. And finally, we'll sculpt it with some EQ. Each band can be set to a variety of modes. Here I'm doing a steep cut at the high and low end and a bit of a dip in the middle. You can sweep or adjust with the dials. And in context. Here it is on lead vocal. We can rearrange the sections by dragging. And here I've got some EQ to sculpt the voice. And this boost brings out the nice emotion in the upper mids. But I want to love you. Again, with a combination of different peaks and shelves, but it brings out a little bit of sibilance above the peak over here. Listen to the S. I'm afraid to say goodbye. That's say goodbye. So I'm going to use the compressor with the de -er mode in to grab those S's and bring it down based on the frequency that I set here. I'm afraid to say goodbye. So much more tame. Now we also have a saturation mode here, which activates the soft saturation at the compressor's output. And it introduces a nice kind of rounding and non-linearity of the peaks. That smooths them nicely. I've got each channel on the reverb return of a drum reverb here. It's kind of messy and sloppy, but we can use this a couple of different ways to help control it. I've got the side chain set to listen to the snare drum, and we can use the gate with the side chain in to create a gated reverb without the side chain. There's chatter and crosstalk. But with this, we can use the release time to get a chopped kind of gated effect or a bit more natural longer release. Now another strategy is to use the compressor. In this case I have the side chain in and it's ducking it nicely. Here it is without the side chain where it just sounds unnatural. But with this, we can use the attack and release to determine how quickly the bloom rises and fades. And have a slower release, a little less natural. A quicker release will tighten it up. And I'm using the saturation for some soft clipping. And we have a transformer on the output. It's a model of a transformer which can be driven into saturation and it's an analog model after the output gain. So it can be driven if you want. It can be subtle or aggressive if you drive more into it. So that's E-Channel from Eventide.